Hello guys, the Ecraft gigs are back with a new topic. Today we are gonna learn some basics about electronic communication. So let's begin. Introduction to communication. Communication is sharing of thoughts with one another. It refers to sending, receiving and processing of information by electronic means. Now as you all can see over here, there is a basic block diagram of communication system where it consists of three basic elements transmitter, communication channel or medium and receiver. So now we are gonna see that what basically a transmitter does. Message input is called as information and it is in the form of voice, code, picture or any other data. This information is fed to the transmitter. Transmitter consists of a set of electronic components and circuits which is used to convert information into electrical signal or signal suitable for the given communication channel or medium. Communication Channel Communication channel is the medium by means of modulated electrical signals is transferred from one place to another. In television, phony microphone converts human voice into electrical signal and it is then sent through a pair of wires. Noise is a serious problem in communication system, thus it should be decreased or completely eliminated to increase the strength of transmitted signals. Receiver Transmitted signals through channel medium are then received at receiver station. It consists of a number of electronic components and circuits. Receiver accepts the signal from medium, decode it or demodulate it so that original information is produced. Now we are gonna see that what is one way and two way communication. It is also referred as simplex and duplex communication. When information or signals travels only in one direction then it is called as simplex communication. It does not have any feedback, for example, radio and television broadcasting. The duplex communication has two subtypes, half duplex and full duplex. If only one end transmits a signal at a time, like radio sets, also known as walkie-talkie, used by police or military personnel, are half duplex. Full duplex if both the end transmits and receives information simultaneously like telephone is called as full duplex. For example, telephone and local area network. Now as we all know that communication can be classified into two types, analog communication and digital communication. So first we are gonna see that what is analog communication. If the signal is continuously varying in voltage or current then the communication is analog communication. Analog signals are sinusoidal in nature. Whereas the digital signals consist of ones and zero which indicates high and low values respectively. Digital communication uses ASCII code. So here we go with our next topic, modulation. What is modulation? Modulation is a process of changing the parameters of the carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. The characteristics of the message signal if changed, the message contained in it also alters. Hence, it is a must to take care of the message signal. A high frequency signal can travel up to a longer distance without getting affected by external disturbance. We take the help of such a high frequency signal which is called a carrier signal. To transmit a message signal such a process is simply called as modulation. Need for modulation The baseband signals are incompatible for direct transmission. For such a signal to travel a longer distance, its strength has to be increased by modulating with a higher frequency carrier wave, which does not affect the parameter of the modulating signal. There are three types of modulation, amplitude modulation, frequency modulation and phase modulation. 
We head on to the first topic amplitude modulation. If the amplitude of the high frequency carrier wave is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal, then such a technique is called amplitude modulation. The second one is the frequency modulation. In this, if the frequency of the carrier wave is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal, then such a technique is called as frequency modulation. Third one is the phase modulation. If the phase of the high frequency carrier wave is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal, then such a technique is called as phase modulation. Pulse width modulation, also known as pulse duration modulation or pulse time modulation, is an analog modulation scheme in which the duration or width or time of the pulse carrier varies proportion to the instantaneous amplitude of the messaging signal. Pulse amplitude modulation is an analog modulation scheme in which amplitude of the pulse carrier varies proportional to the instantaneous amplitude of the messaging signal. Pulse position modulation is an analog modulation scheme in which the amplitude and width of the pulse are kept constant while the position of each pulse with reference to the position of a reference pulse varies according to the instantaneous sample value of the messaging signal. So guys these were some basic topics of electronic communication. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting videos.